Hello guys, uh, Gajaba doing another new upgrade, uh, doing a lot of things. Uh, first one we're gonna do the turbo upgrade. Uh, I'm at the Jeep Dylan workshop and uh, he's starting removing uh, intercooler first. So intercooler is all there now. Uh, so that's the uh, turbo, it's gonna go. That's a manifold and uh, turbo. It's a G-Turbo green wheel. Uh, part by part, I will try to upload every photo, uh, every videos. It's, uh, uh, when we try to find it out, YouTube videos or anything, uh, can't, we can't find it anything. So we thought is uh, gonna do a video about turbo upgrade uh, in a TD42. So we removed all the intake pipes and the intercooler. So now we are what we do removing uh, heat shield. Uh, what we put it in before that, uh, you spray something. Yeah, spray some um, like rust off. Spray. It's the pretty common to break this one so they never been out. That's the one. The next step is removing heat shield. And actually, he removed the banjo joint from uh, uh, coolant, isn't it? Yeah, coolant feed pipe to the turbo. So that that one, so coolant. Next step is uh, we remove the coolant lines up there. So we are going to remove the uh, oil drain and coolant down. And uh, we already unbolt from here dump pipe. So then we can take out the turbo as one piece. After that, we can remove the manifold. Now we are removing the manifold, exhaust manifold. So far, so good. Uh, didn't tell, uh, it's really easy to track that board. We try to get the manifold and turbo all together rather than removing the turbo first. Let's uh, see how that goes. How go. <laughs> okay, move to the double. Yeah, see, this came off with the double. It's supposed to come only now, but came down with another double. Line. Uh, we remove the underneath from underneath uh, oil return line. That's all shading line. We managed to take out all the stud and uh, nuts without breaking anything. Manifold is out. We got a bit of situation in here. Uh, so what happened? They didn't give that studs uh, and a gas cut and a sword manifold stud as well with the built over. So what happened when we tried to remove this one? It's can't remove it. So only one can do it, then it's done. So luckily, we went to the Repco, 
got it that one. That's uh, like two dollars or something. One start. Show them the size. Uh, size is. Uh, oh, I get the. So this is the get start. What we get it. It's a 10 mil bolt with 1.2 uh, thread and it's like around 40 mil longer and I uh, went to the person and get the exhaust manifold gas card as well. Uh, we was thinking when we opened the box uh, they said they go they supplied everything and then, but they didn't supply the studs and the gas card So Dylan cleaned this one as well, the manifold old gas cut. So the, uh, now we have to put the new, we don't have a new start, we're using the same start. Put it back and uh, put a new gas cut for the new manifold. So this is the new turbo, G Turbo Greenway. Uh, that's the one. They gave actually the studs and the gas cut for that one and a middle gas cut awesome as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Studs. Really, no point in without starting the cool, cool. Okay, guys, we finished the turbo install, everything's done back to the place, and uh, vehicle is uh, up and running. So, what we did, uh, we need to modify the intake piping somewhere here and go into there. And uh, Dylan is good job for that. And uh, that's the final installation, looks like. This way, you can see that's a dump, dump pipe and a turbo. So, do you remember we shut the uh, coolant from when we coolant uh, line from here and we shut that one, and uh, another one in the down there, we shut that one too. So done, and uh, we did the dyno tuning as well. Uh, at the moment, I got uh, 120 kilovolts uh, 435s in rear, uh, somewhere around 400 to 460 newton newton meters for torque.